New printer alert, Cheaty has sent us the brand new Q2 and we're gonna put it through its paces. You guys get to come along for the ride and we are gonna do an unboxing on the new Q2. This is Chidi's latest and greatest machine that they came out with. If you're familiar with them, we are fans of the brand because they're the best bang for the buck. We literally run these printers 24 seven around the clock and have had way less failures than any other printer brands that we've used in the past. That's sick, it's glass. Nice glass top. This thing has an active heating chamber. Check out that beautiful screen. Comes with a brand new iPhone 16. <laughs> now I'm sure you guys have seen millions of 3D printer unboxing videos, so I'm not gonna go ahead and bore you with this part of it. We literally took it out of the box, followed the instructions, removed all of the accessories and all of the protection that came in the box from shipping. We installed the new display, there was a few things that we had to undo underneath the bed before we could start its initial processing and leveling. One thing I do want to mention is the toolkit that comes with the Cheaties is just so much better than other companies we've used in the past. We've noticed that we still have the scrapers and Allen keys and a lot of the toolkits from 3D printers of years ago. They just last and they're really good. So after we get everything set up the way it should, it goes through its input shaping and its full bed leveling procedure. And basically in 15, 20 minutes after setting up this printer, you are ready to print. So we did the obligatory Benchy test. 15 minutes later, we had a beautiful part. Then after that, we turned it up a little bit and we did a six hour print on these print in place lightsabers that my kids absolutely love. They came out amazing. Oh, check these out, babe. Check these out. Wait, what did it do? Oh. <laughs> All right. This thing prints amazing toys, cool stuff, but no offense to Cheaty, it's kind of what you'd expect with any really good 3D printer in 2025. So let's put it through its paces. I want to basically see if we can print like production style parts with carbon fiber, as well as really use all the features that this new printer has. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swap over to a 0.6 nozzle, set it up like we do with our other printers for production. And we're gonna print up some new cooling ducts for the brakes on RC16. I absolutely love this printer. Listen, we put it through its paces. We printed the toys and the little knickknacks and cool stuff that you do with 3D printers and it passed those tests with flying colors. We had a great time. My kids love the printer, everything. But then we turned it up. We went ahead and we put our settings, our production filament and engineering materials through this thing. And this thing now has over a hundred hours of production, at least that I can give you the feedback that honestly, I cannot recommend this printer enough. Like for 500 bucks for what you get, we spend almost a thousand dollars on our machines that print out excellent parts and just look at some of this stuff. Like this is fresh out of the printer, just pulled supports and brims, not cleaned up at all. And these parts came out absolutely amazing. We actually print and ship motorcycle parts daily. And a lot of our customers got these parts. And not only can you not tell the difference, but in my opinion, I would say that these actually printed better than what we get on a day-to-day -day basis. Just absolutely flawless, set it and forget it. It's an amazing machine. And then I did 
Another thing, I love this machine so much that we have an annual Halloween party every year. That's huge. We have 70 to 100 people that come out and we do this really cool costume contest. So I actually made all of our Halloween trophies for this year's Halloween party. Everybody absolutely loved the trophies. Like it was a major hit at the party. And just cause your boy's humble, I won one, okay? I'm not too humble to win my own trophy, but look at how good these things came out. I printed these in PET G, I printed the top, the base, and then I printed in two colors on a single extruder without the color box. So I did all this stuff custom, we put some carbon fiber on the bottom, but these trophies came out absolutely amazing. They were a major hit at the party. I seriously can't recommend this printer enough. If you're an entry level 3D printer, you know, novice, just getting into it, the printer is really great and it has all those easy features that, like I say, you can set it and forget it. All of the software is very intuitive. Everything's super fast. We literally had one failure on the printer for over a hundred hours and that was a filament issue not a printer issue. What's great is although we didn't have any failures with this machine, I've had to deal with Chidi support in the past because we use their other machines. And I have to say, they're one of the best in the business. That's why we continue to use their printers because if you do have a problem, which I promise you it's machinery that's man-made, we will have problems. What's great is you don't have to wait three weeks for an email, they get right back to you. So Chidi support, knocked out of the park. Yes, they sent me this printer for free to test out, but as you can see, I've spent thousands and thousands of dollars on their machines because I believe in them. They've worked great and we've had the best failure rate compared to any other machines that we've tested at least. So if I had to spend my hard earned money and go buy a printer for sub 500 bucks, I would buy this printer right here. I cannot recommend it enough. Definitely go check it out. There's a link in the description if you guys wanna use my link to purchase it. It helps out the channel. Let me know your thoughts on it. I know there's other good printers out there, but if you're in the market for a $500 printer, go check out the new Q2. Thank you, Chidi, for sending us the printer to test out and review. We absolutely love it. It's definitely here to stay. It's a happy addition to the rest of our arsenal of our print farm, and I'll definitely be hitting you up for some more of those. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been a pleasure, and we'll see you next episode. Mm -hmm.